question asks us to find the center, the foci, and the vertices of the ellipse, kind of in partially factored form, but we have to complete it here. So let me go ahead and write this equation out over here so we can start working with it. 25y plus 2 squared equals 900. Okay, so let's go ahead and set this equal to 1. So we're going to divide everything by 900. And let's see, 36 over 900 is going to reduce to 1 over 25. 25 over 900 is going to reduce to 1 over 36. And then this is going to reduce to 1. All right, so let's see here, the center. So let's go ahead and get the center. So this is x minus h. Okay, so my center is going to be, let's see, uh, 2, positive 2. And then y minus k, the minus turned into a plus, so that is a negative 2. So my center is at 2, negative 2. Let me go ahead and plot that. 2, negative 2, right here. Okay, where um, is this is the larger number. So where's my A here? So if I take a look here, my larger number is right here underneath my Y axis. Okay, so this is your A squared is 36 and your B squared is gonna be 25. Okay, so larger number is gonna be underneath the axis, which also means this is vertical. Okay, so because it's under Y, so A squared, under y, so it's got to be long ways. Okay, so we know that. Um, next thing we need to find are the foci and the vertices. Okay, so we can find the vertices. Okay, so let's find a and b. So a squared is 36, which means a is going to be plus or minus 6. Okay, so that's going to give you the major axis vertices, so the long axis, so this point here and this point here. So let's go ahead and find those. So we're going to go up six and down six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so we have that. Let's get those points for my vertices. So let's see. We're going to be going two, four. So it's a point two, four. And then this is the point two, negative eight. Okay, so those are my vertices. And then the next thing I need are my foci. Okay, so we need to find the foci, which is going to be given to you using the equation c squared equals a squared minus b squared. Okay, so a squared is 36 and b squared is 25. So c squared is, let's see here, c squared is 11, which means c is going to be plus or minus the square root of 11. So to get the foci here, what you're going to do is you're going to go from this point here and you're going to go up and down the square root of 11. So let's see roughly what that is. The square root of 11 is roughly 3.3, .3, okay? Meaning I'm going to go up from here, 1, 2, 3.3, .3, so maybe like right here, and then down 1, 2, 3.3, .3, so maybe like right here. Okay, but what I'm doing here is I'm going, okay, to the point 2 on my x-axis, but then with my y, I'm going to start from this point here, negative 2, and then I'm adding the square root of 11. So we say negative 2 plus square root of 11, and then here I'm going to 2, and then I'm going to negative 2, and I'm subtracting the square root of 11. So those are my foci. So then this all center vertices and foci, that should match with option C.